This course is brought to you by AppyPy as part of our Academy series. Since I've shown you the theoretical ideas of how to do your keyword research for ASO, now I want to show you a more hands-on approach and I'm going to pick the game niche because a lot of people, they pick games to create and then they struggle to get downloads because games are so competitive. So let's do the games. So this is the Google Keyword Tool. It's free. It's not for apps. It's for search in general. Later in the course, there will be a tool shown to you that is all about just keyword research for apps. But this is free, and this is for every you know. And th th but this translates well to the key, to the to the App Store. So okay, I search here fun game, right? And you see there's a lot of a lot of search volume in, in one month for the fun game keyword. But if I go to the, you know, we'll use Android as an example here. And if I go to a fun game, it, it's probably going to be too, com too competitive. I mean, this, this is crazy. Like, you know, you go to, this is a great app, 4.5, and they have over 10 million, maybe maybe at just under 50 million downloads. So the first, you know, it's, it's too difficult, right? Um, even if I go to like row five, and I pick a random app. It still has an, It's still a very highly rated app. It still has so many good reviews, and it's so, it has five million, you know, between five and ten million downloads. So this niche is very difficult. This keyword is very, very difficult to target at first. At first, I would not recommend it almost because you you want to go for easier keywords, and this is why we kind of go down in the keyword area and um, we get keyword ideas. And what I was going for is. You know, fun game, but a lot of people make puzzle games, right? So you can search for something like um, puzzle game, right? Um, if your game is a puzzle, of course. And even the puzzle game, without searching, you know, there's a lot of different puzzles. And what you want to do is maybe niche down in your puzzle niche, right? There's different puzzle, like jigsaw puzzles. You see that even that has a lot of, you know, th even that has a lot of search volume. So we go to jigsaw puzzle. And you'll see that the number one app still has a lot. It's very competitive and it's going to be very hard to, to beat because, you know, great reviews and it has between 5 and 10 million downloads, which is tough to get and it's hard to jump over them. So it's a very entrenched app. But you'll be able to see that if I go down to like, you know, row five, this app is a lot more reasonable. It still has good reviews, maybe too good, right? Like it looks a little fake here because um, very unbalanced. And um, so this, and actually not that many in, installs, right? So this tells me that this app is very beatable. And there you, you see, okay, you can become like maybe 10 or 15 in, in this search. It's not, this search term, you know, is, is not as competitive, right? We saw more competitive keywords. They're like way competitive. Even here it's competitive, but less competitive. And what we're looking for is the sweet spot of still there's a lot of search demand. People are going to be finding your app, but the sweet spot is it's not as competitive, right? Because if you even if you're like number 10 or 15 in this search, you'll start to get downloads because, um, you know, people kind of scroll and because there's so many people searching this, you'll still get downloads. And what your job will be is to, you know, get to the 10th or 15th spot and make your app good so that it will have these quality signals, good reviews, a lot of engagement, and that will get the app to go higher, higher, higher over time. And then you'll compete for more difficult keywords over time. What you also want to do is, you know, use a wider variety of keywords, you know, like jigsaw puzzle, right? But you can use the keyword fun, play, it's for kids, it's for adults, it's for men, it's for women, um, it's entertainment, it's fun, it's a, it's a puzzle, it's a game. You see the variation of keywords that I'm basically just off my head. And if I had more time, you actually want to use this tool to walk through all those keywords and get more and more idea. Puzzle, puzzles, right? And I just saw the idea of having plural based on seeing this here. And you have ad group ideas and you can get more and more and more keywords. So this is really good. You have to collect a lot of keywords and then figure out how to target, you know, all of them in a reasonable way. Um, so that you'll have a chance to at least rank somewhere near the top, not number one maybe, but near the top for different variations of keywords, which will also give you a lot of downloads. So that was my attempt to show you a real example of how I would think through 
when I go through apps and when I go through keywords, when I do my keyword research so that you see my thought process of what I should try to rank for and what I shouldn't try to rank for and finding that sweet spot of um, the keywords that, I, that are good to try to rank for, right? So hopefully this relevant practical example was helpful.